G'day guys, today we're gonna to do something pretty cool. We're gonna head out into the field. I wanna show you how to location scout and why it is one of the most important things you need to put in your workflow. So roll that intro. G'day you beautiful people and thank you for joining me today. On this channel we do plenty of tips, tricks and reviews, but mainly we love to get behind a camera and shoot some of the best landscapes from around the world. So if that sort of stuff interests you, please make sure to hit that subscription button for future content. But today we are out in Slovenia location scouting. We're on module two of six. So last week I took you through everything from planning, the apps that I use, and finding the print sizes that we want to shoot. So we reverse engineering. Today on module two is the most important module if you ask me, location scouting. If you get this aspect wrong, it could ruin the whole complete six stage steps that we want to do from start to finish. So today I'm going to find some locations that I want to shoot, but mainly as I said last week, that three by one stitch pano that we want to shoot in module six to print, to hang it on the wall and complete this six stage module. So stick around. Open what I said could make you change your mind. Though it doesn't really matter when my hands are tied. I'm trying to walk across the bridges that I burned. My own Radio. so this is why location scouting is so important. This is the first location that I scouted on last week's episode of three. And this is why I tell everyone's location scouts, one of the most important things to do in your photography. The, I wanna take you through the three steps that I go through when I'm out location scouting, what I do, how I go about it, and what makes the image in the long run well worth it. And the first one is time. Time is so important in our photography. Time brings results. If you haven't got time, make it. I know you might say you're a travel photographer or you're at new locations or you haven't got the time like I have right now to explore the area. Well, you know what, make time. If there's 10 minutes that you've got, make six minutes location scouting, four minutes shooting. If you've got an hour, make 40 minutes, 20 minutes shooting. You understand what I mean. If you've got one month, make three weeks location scouting. Whatever it is, I don't care. Make time because when you sell that image, when you print that image, the time that you put into that is gonna bring the biggest smile to your face. And in location number one that I'm at now, although it's not the image that I wanna print, I found another composition that I want to shoot. That is so important. So I can come back the most important time of the day at sunrise because I'm composing the church and Slovenia's highest mountain at 2,864 meters. And it would look great at first light, getting that alpine glow. So the first one is time because if you spend more time location scouting, you will find more locations to shoot. So that is step number one. So here I am shooting this image now to bring it back on the computer to review it later. I know it's not the image that I wanted to shoot I took you through last week, but it's very important to get everything in camera. And that is my second tip. Take everything with you, tripod, camera, lens that you wanna use, and get everything in camera. So when you get back on the computer, you can review it at 100%, 200%, 400%, whatever you want to do to check sharpness, to check composition mainly, to see if you can move around, if your stitch is good. You understand what I'm trying to say, everything you want to check. So when you get out and shoot the image that you exactly want to shoot at the correct time of day, you know what aperture, you know what focal length, you know what camera you want to use, you want to know if you want to use ND filters, 
everything is answered for you. So when you get there, you just have to worry about your exposure, whether you want a bracket. It's very, very simple. Okay, so tip number one, time. Time is so important. Then when you get there, spend more time setting up with the focal length, with the aperture, everything you want to do. They're the most two important things that you want to shoot. So with this one, I'm shooting just over a hundred million full frame equivalent using the church in the foreground, the mount in the background, but now I'm just waiting for that light to pierce through because we could get a very, very beautiful image today because we've got spring colors and some fresh snow on the mountains. So I'm trying to wait around for some light now and then compose this image. Alrighty, so it's been like 15, 20 minutes since I spoke to you guys last, which gets me back onto my first point, time. The number one thing that I hear is people say so they haven't got time to location scout. I'm out location scouting and I've got time to go and do more location scouting. So whilst I've been waiting for the light to happen down there on the church to get this image that I'm gonna show you, I've had 15 or 20 minutes time to location scout more. So you've always got time to location scout. But I've waited for the light, so here is this image shot in vertical with a church and our biggest mountain here in Slovenia, Triglav. Enjoy. Now already I know that this image here is so beautiful. I'll spin the camera around. You can see the mountain in the background and the village. But the third point I wanna talk about is to me what separates photographers and people that just wanna go and shoot. So we've got time. That's the most important thing when you location scout. Secondly is have all the gear with you. Camera, lens, tripod, everything you need. The third one is visualization. So we've reverse engineered. Last week I said to you to decide what you want to print in, what format. So for me it's three by one. You're already thinking, why the hell do I have to know what size you want to print in? Because that depends how we want to shoot. So visualization is so important. We know we want to shoot three by one. This here, I'm not going to get the image that I want with three by one. There's so much dead space in the foreground and to the left hand side. So I know now I have to move up over there where I think I need to know where our location scattered last week on Google Maps to find it. So now I'm gonna pack up all my gear and head over there to see if I can get this visualization and spend time there with my gear because they're the three most important parts of location scouting to get to the last module of printing and hanging this on my wall. So we have there now and let's go and find if we can get this image. Jeez, man, it's cold. It's meant to be summer next month. What the hell is going on? I don't care with views like this though. This is absolutely bloody incredible. So I wanna take you through a few things right now, guys. This is my second composition that I scouted out. It's the first one we just come from. This is the second one, and the third one is just over there. But when I sat down last week, got on Google Maps, and had a look at this composition, I wanna talk about two things that I just physically cannot do in Google Maps and to explain why location scouting is so precious. So, I come here and I wanted the church, the mountains, and to do a panoramic. That are the three visualization that I wanted to do from this trip. I can see the church, I can see the mountains obviously, I can do it three by one stitch, which I've already gone through and composed. But, Google Maps does not tell me how high those trees are to the left hand side. To the right hand side also, that's in the composition. In one or two months that will only get worse, bigger and fluffier trees because spring's gonna be finished, summer's gonna be here, they're gonna have all leaves over them. 
So if I want to shoot this image in a panoramic style, I have to shoot it pretty much now. So I'm going through and doing a time lapse right now for three reasons. One, to remember this incredible location because this is absolutely perfectly. Secondly, it's ever changing here. So I'm getting such fast moving clouds happening and it looks good through a single, pan a single image, sorry. And thirdly, I need some material for my Instagram. But it's a memory, that's what I'm shooting it for. But also, going back to our first point, time. This takes 20 minutes, so I'm forced to be here for 20 minutes. So I've walked up and down this ridge line here to find different compositions. Straight through there, I can see the massive mountain in the background and the village of Moistarana in the foreground. Another composition. I'm shooting composition here of a single stitch. Then I'm just going through with the XH1 and just looking at it through camera to try and do a five stitch panel with the other lenses that I'm carrying. So time, I'm forced to be here for 20 minutes, walk around, warm up, and also the time of enjoying it. That is most important and why we love to do photography. So many reasons you can see here why it's so important to location scout, come out and get these images in camera to take them back to the computer. So I've already gone through and composed a five stitch pano from left to right. Got the church in, got the mountains in and the village on the right hand side. I don't know if a three by one is going to work right now. That is why it's most important to get it all in camera, take it home and the next step we're going to do is the review stage to see what we can improve on, what we can get better at, what did work, what didn't work, blah, 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 you understand me. So now I'm going to sit down, enjoy this view before we head over to the last location to look at to see if we can get exactly what we want in camera before next week's module of reviewing all this content. So let's enjoy this bloody sick view. <laughs> wow. You just know this position right here is it how do you know you ask any bloody photographer when you know you just know I said I wanted the church the mountains and a panoramic stitch this little rock here <laughs> this is it this is the image that I want and do you know it's even crazy location scouting I location scouted 500 meters down that way the car's just back over there, walking along here. The walking trail's actually down further. And I just seen, whoa, that's what I want. This is what I want. I've got the mountain because before I said I might lose the mountain in a position over there. But right here where I didn't location scout is exactly what I want. No trees in the foreground, the church, the mountain, the mountain that I thought I'd lose, the panoramic stitch. This is the spot. So to recap today, time. Time is the most important thing to get out and do this. Little fun fact, this is my second day out here. I've spent six hours today and about six or seven hours the last time I was here. So that just goes to show you. But you know what's even stupider? I might get home, type on the computer, look at these images and review them. And they're not even what I want. That is how crazy it is. So do you know what that means? More time to come back out here because you don't know the image that you want until you find it. And that takes time. So that's what I was saying to you today, guys. The location scanning is the most important part of your photography. It takes time. Now I'm setting up with the X-T3, the tripod, leveling to do the panoramic, shooting with the 16 to 55 because I know it's the sharpest lens and making sure I'm getting all that in camera. So time, making sure you've got it all in camera and the visualization because the visualization has to meet 
So the camera has to meet my mind to come together to make that perfect image. And that's what we're trying to capture out of this six step module. So there you have it, we've done the preparation as far as finding out the applications we want using Google Maps and also the print size that we want to capture. Then we've come to the location scouting and this module takes the most amount of time. There's that word again, time. So put the most effort into this module because everything after that is the fun part. It's the best part of it. And next week we're gonna go on to the reviewing stage. So we're gonna put all these images into Lightroom, try and blend them together to make that panoramic to see where we've gone right and where we've gone wrong. What we can improve on, what we could just alter a little bit in camera to get that perfect image. So next week, join me as the review stage of what we've done today. If you haven't watched last week's episode, make sure you jump up here and watch it. I'm not gonna show you this image right now because that's gonna ruin module four, five, and six because the best is yet to come. Guys, anything from today, time is the most important thing in photography. Whether you have 10 minutes or one year, put a percentage of time to location scout. That is me done on a great vlog today. I'll see you guys next week in the review stage. Ciao.